Former U.S. President Donald Trump announced on Friday that he has accepted Fox News' offer to debate Vice President Kamala Harris on September 4. Trump said the debate would take place in Pennsylvania. However, the location of the debate has yet to be determined. I have agreed with Fox News to debate Kamala Harris on Wednesday, September 4. The debate was previously scheduled against Sleepy Joe Biden on ABC, but has been terminated in that Biden will no longer be a participant, and I am in litigation against ABC Network and George Slopadopoulos, thereby creating a conflict of interest," Trump wrote on his social media platform Truth Social. This comes after Harris became the Democratic Party's nominee for president after Biden announced he was dropping his re-election campaign. The moderators of the debate will be Fox News anchors Brett Bayer and Martha McCallum. It's unclear whether Kamala Harris has agreed to the Fox News debate. Vice President Harris said last month that she was ready to debate the former president and accused him of backpedaling away from the previous agreement to debate on ABC News on September 10. During the massive attack on Ukrainian infrastructure by Russian Geran-2 or Shahed Kamikaze drones on July the 31st, at least five drones flew into Belarus. The Belaruski Gayan Monitoring Group reported on this. It is reported that the first of the kamikaze drones entered the airspace of Belarus near the village of Asa Revishi. Belarusian Air Force fighter scrambled off from the Baron of Vichy Air Base and flew for more than an hour throughout southeastern Belarus near the border. The fighter was spotted near Rishitsia, Gomel and other settlements in the border area with Ukraine. This indicates that the aircraft was intensively searching for targets and was not just raised for reconnaissance but also for targeted detection and possible drone interception. It stayed in the south of the country for less than two hours, but even after it returned to the airfield, the Geran-2 drones continued to enter Belarus. Other kamikaze drones invaded the airspace of Belarus near the village of Loyu, Asarevishi and Korov. After entering the airspace, most of the drones immediately went deeper into the Poleski State Radiation Ecological Reserve and then back to Ukraine, but one flew over 260 kilometers across Belarus as far as the city of Stolin in the Brest region. In July, Militani twice reported cases of Russian kamikaze drones entering Belarusian airspace. On July the 13th, it was reported that one of the Russian drones flew from the territory of Ukraine to Belarus and flew more than 350 kilometers over four regions of the neighboring country and approached Minsk. On July the 17th, it was reported that the Shahed drone fell between the village of Parichi and the agricultural town of Lyoban in the Gomel region, 55 kilometers from the city of Bobruisk and 120 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. 